Okay, people of the VC, it's Andy Cardimalda back. Another competition entry, second one of the night, trying to get all these done before the uh, the end of the year. Um, this one's for Farley. All right, Farley. Um, Farley's on a holiday competition. He wants us to come up and uh, name the band that would be um, number five if there was a top five. That's easy for me. Absolutely easy. Now, you're not going to be surprised by which band I pick. Well, actually, you will be, because my the band I would put in as number five in the top five is Slayer. That's right, Slayer. Um, clearly, they are one of the top four, but uh, the band that I'm going to talk about briefly, is, I would put them above Slayer. Slayer, don't get me wrong, they're, they're a great band. I understand their impact on the the metal scene and everything that they spawned as a result of what they did but Slayer's a band that's never really clicked with me they've got some great songs great albums uh south of heaven i i really love and that's the first slayer album that really clicked with me but um i i just i just never got into them in the 80s the big four was formed in the 80s another band that was formed in the 80s that had some uh uh, good releases, which I did really click with, was Testament. Now uh, I just watched uh, Jared your entry, and you and you did mention that probably most people will pick Overkill, uh, Testament, or uh, Death Angel. Well, I'm I'm going for Testament, and they would be they would be in my big four. Um, but so I don't break your rules, Farley. We'll call them we'll call them five just just for you. Um, but why Testament? So um, I just think the the combination of the band um, of Peterson and Skolnick on guitars, uh, Christiansen on bass, Clemente on drums, and, and Chuck Bully's vocals, certainly in the 80s, were just, um, they kind of made me stop and think, wow, who's this band? I think they're um, significantly different from you know, Megadeth, Anthrax, and Metallica, uh, say to some degree, or well, they're probably closer to Slayer, to be honest, than, than, than the other four. Um, but I just liked uh, Chuck Bully's gruff vocals, um, and just the un, un, you know, they were just the relentless uh, twin guitar attack that they did, and their, their songs were just uh, fast and aggressive, and uh, and you know, from wrong well, order. There we go. From the the first album, uh, the Legacy songs like Over the Wall, The Haunting, Burnt Offerings, Cotlod. Uh, Curse of the Legions of Death, uh, Do or Die, Alone in the Dark, Apocalyptic City. This is a killer debut album. And then to follow it up with uh, The New Order, um, Try to Fire Into the Pit, uh, Disciples of the Watch. You know, it's just it's just killer stuff, killer, killer stuff. And probably one of my favourite albums. They started to get a little bit more polished towards the, the end of the 80s, I guess. But... Uh, Practice what you preach. Um, a mighty fine thrash metal album. Practice what you preach. Uh, Time is coming. Sins of Omission. Nightmare coming back to you. Confusion fusion. You know, I just, I just love this band. And as I say, they they were to me. They were my they were in my my top four. Uh, and Slayer were not. And uh, the other release that they had from the eighties. Live at Eindhoven Heap EP. This was the first uh, Testament album. It's not really an album, it's an EP, isn't it? So it's got five songs uh, live uh, from in Holland. And um, this was, yeah, th this opened my eyes to Testament. I knew I had to, this band was a, a little bit special. And uh, they're one I've always uh, uh, kept up with. Um, uh, since there, there, I still have a few gaps in my collection, and um, I have to admit, I am a little, I was a little disappointed with the, the, the um, Brotherhood of the Snake. I know loads of people love that album. Um, I, the, the, the change in the vocals really to being more of the gruff, and the uh, guttural vocal in some places kind of puts me off some of the modern Testament stuff. But the, the Big Four was born in the eighties. Testament was born in the eighties. And um, so I would firmly put them there in the 80s, in my big four, or big five for, for your competition. Um, 
Yeah, so there you go. No, nothing more to say. Uh, I think I've met my five minutes. That was one of your your conditions. Um, yeah, check out Ch uh, Farley's channel. She has a lot of uh, vinyl rips. Um, I actually prefer it when you do when you talk about your records, uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, I like to hear your your I like to hear your opinions on on, uh, on what you're listening to and what you like. Um, got a great channel. Deserve uh, many more subscribers. So if you don't know Farley's channel, uh, leave a link below and one of those i things up there. Check him out. Uh, enter his competition if you can. Let's get quite a few in there. Um, and um, yeah, short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Bye.